Hello, in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to use HTML tags inside the PHP echo statement. We'll also be looking at something called string concatenation. So in the previous tutorial we looked at using simple um, echo statements. So something like echo um, hello world. Okay, so just displaying a simple message in the browser using the echo statement. Um, but we can also place HTML tags inside the echo statement. So um, if I wanted to make this a heading, I could put echo and inside, inside this string, I could put, um, oops, put a h1 tag and then close that h1 tag. So these are, this is a HTML tag to make a heading. So I've got h1 tag there and then we close that tag there, all inside the quotation marks. And if I save that and run it in Chrome, I get a heading there. Okay, and I could um, make that a smaller heading. I could use the H3 tag instead. I get a smaller heading, and I could um, I could make that a paragraph as well. I could use bold, italics. I could add links using the ahref tag. Um, I could add an image. Any kind of HTML tag I can use, I'm able to put inside an echo statement. So, if you're not familiar with HTML um, and you don't know HTML tags, and I strongly suggest watching the HTML and CSS tutorials um, so that you can use HTML tags inside the echo statement in PHP. So um, PHP will see this H3 tag and it will interpret it as HTML and print out a heading with the H3 heading size. You can also give headings IDs. Um, so you could say something like H3 ID equals um, you know, my heading. And the problem is here that we're using double quotation marks inside double quotation marks for the string. So we would need to escape those, something we looked at in the previous tutorial, using the backslashes in front of those quotation marks. So we'll save that, refresh, and we shouldn't get an error. Um, but this heading here will have the ID of my heading. Um, alternatively, we could use single quotation marks there as well because this string is inside double quotation marks. All right, so that's how to place HTML tags inside a PHP echo statement. Another thing that we can do is join strings together. That's known as string concatenation. So concatenation is basically just a big word that means join, and we can join two strings together. So what I'll do is just delete this. And I'm going to put a string here. I'm just going to say echo hello. All right. Now I could just end that there as one string or I could put another string after that. So I could join it with another string. So I could say hello dot or period and then another string here there and then end that with a semicolon. So I've got hello there and a period in between. If I um, refresh that, what will happen is I'll get hello and then I'll get the next string there, but there's no space there. So you could add either a space after the O there, or you could add a space before there. All right, so if I save and refresh, I get a space there now. All right, alternatively, instead of using the period, you can use a comma and that will also work. All right. So you can use a comma or a period, and um, it will get the it will give the same effect. So it does the same thing. Um, you could also write two separate echo statements. So I could delete that and end that with the semicolon, and then I could put echo there in that line. Save put command S to save if you're not sure what what I'm doing, and then refresh. And I get hello there on the same line again, um, even though it's two echo statements. So it's just displaying them all on the same line. Okay, you could add a break there using a HTML tag as well if you wanted a new line. All right, so um, that's how to join two strings together. Make sure that um, each statement ends with a semicolon. So if we don't end our lines with a semicolon, we can get errors and all sorts of problems. If you're used to using the print statement in languages like Python or C Sharp, you can actually use that instead of the echo statement as well. So you can say print or echo, 
and they'll both do the same thing. So you've got um, two options there. The thing is that print is an extra character longer, so it's going to take longer to type. Um, anyway, that's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at creating and using variables. Thanks for watching.